Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. And for those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that have been following me and supporting me, as always, salute. And for my faithful patrons, always, double salute. Now, today's video, we're going to be talking about soft pull credit cards for bad credit no credit check now these are credit cards that are subprime and I have talked about them in the past but in terms of how to use a leveraging strategy so that you not only build a stronger credit file as well as to get more funding so I'm going to be talking about a strategy that can possibly help you not only boost up your credit score but to possibly help you get more funding and one of the things that's slowing a lot of people down from getting more funding okay is these three things okay so if you have the word retire SSI self-employed on your credit file you need to have it removed and the reason that you want to have it removed because you have um, they look at it as you have a limited income okay and granted you may have a low DTI but when you have those on your credit file a lot of times with traditional lenders and stuff they still look at it as limited income now here's one secret that I would tell you all uh, that this is very important now if you're in the household on your application says what's the overall household income that means your spouse if you're renting a room out on Airbnb you know that's income okay so don't uh, overlook that as income included on when on your credit application when you're trying to get funding because some people may just put that they're receiving social security benefits what about your 401k you may have a 401k you may have an annuity all of those are income generating assets that you can actually include on your credit application okay so just keep that in mind in terms of when you're applying for credit and stuff always make sure you put the maximum amount of income that's in the household alright now number two and this is very important this is what I want you guys to do if you're trying to build up your credit file one is you want to sign up for Experian Boost right now with Experian Boost many of you are aware that they report your subscriptions like Hulu, Netflix uh, Spotify and stuff like that right but there's another company out there and it's called Grow Credit it does the same thing with subscriptions however they have a different tier program in terms of reporting and stuff like that but I would definitely tell you guys these two are very important especially when you're doing banking transactions okay now Number three, I would tell you, is um, the extra uh, debit credit card. Now, that's an app on your phone, okay? That's an app on your phone where you hook your banking information up and all your debit card transactions, they report it to the credit bureaus. Now, here's the reason why this is important because you guys may be dealing with some of those car lenders that do buy here, pay here that don't report, right? But if you pay with your debit card, okay, that transaction, now it will be reported on your credit file. Also, some of you guys may be paying rent with cash or with a money order, okay? The reason that you want to stop doing that and start paying with your debit card, especially if you're a person that's trying to get qualified for a home loan, all right? With FHA, they changed up their guidelines. And what they're starting to do is people that uh, pay their rent on time, they're going to start calculating that in to see to help you qualify for a mortgage okay so that's the reason that these here company are start these third party companies are starting to become more important in terms of helping you 
uh, get qualified to buy a home or you trying to refinance your car and stuff like that by you boosting up your credit score even with these little small companies it may give you enough punch to get you qualified for a larger line of credit or a larger personal loan as well as not only your mortgage okay now here's something else that I want to tell you all you have a rental and if any of you guys have ever used these systems okay put a comment below let me know hey Houston I've used this system it's reporting it here it's good I like it I don't like it so the community knows okay that may not be the best thing for me or this definitely will work for me okay so you have rental karma right and with rental karma to my understanding they report to TransUnion and Equifax if they no longer report, would you, and you use Rental Karma, would you put a comment below to let me know, is it showing up on your credit file? Also, and I know we're talking about um, soft pull credit cards, but again, we want to build up your credit file so that way when you start getting these credit cards you can get larger limits and stuff, okay? So that's the reason that we're talking about this. All right, then you have BoomPay. All right, and to my understanding, I never used BoomPay, but to my understanding that they uh, report up to 24 months of back rent. If that's not true, please correct me. Let me know if this is true or not, and if it's actually showing up on your credit file. All right, because again, there's a lot of people out there. They're paying rent, but they're paying with cash or money order, right? And because they're doing that, they're not actually getting credit for the payments. Or you may be a, in a room, roommate with somebody, okay? So if you're a roommate with somebody, then you can also uh, sign up with Plastic, okay? And with Plastic, it's a third-party... Um, system that you hook your credit card up and you can pay uh, different bills and stuff that way alright uh, especially like when you're talking about like utilities and stuff like that plastic is definitely one you want to uh, use now in terms of reporting plastic doesn't go to the credit bureau but in terms of having all this information documented so when you're ready to buy or get qualified for a home loan for real estate investing or buying your own house or something like that you have actual documentation that you can show uh, here I've been paying my bills, my bills through this but also these here third-party systems will also help track that now that being said some of these cards I know that you guys may have already heard of some of you guys may already have these cards okay and these cards they have a high um, Fee. They have a high annual fee. Uh, some of their interest rates are ridiculous. But at the same time, if you're just coming out of bankruptcy and you're trying to start over or you just had some bad luck with your credit and stuff and you're trying to start over and stuff like that, again, here is, it's an option. All right. And here's another thing I want you to understand. You don't need a whole lot of these cards. I would say the maximum of these here type of cards you probably want to do is about three. Okay, but again, we're going to talk about a strategy as well. Now, with flex cards, again, uh, 70, 70, I think it's, uh, excuse me, 75 to 99, that's the annual fee, right? Then, they go anywhere from, they start at 300, and they were going up to 1,000, but they're starting to advertise they're now going to be doubling, going up to 2,000. Two okay and to my understanding they uh, look at your account every six months to give your credit line increase now uh, for you guys that have been dealing with them with with these type of companies let me know did you like it you hate it now here's something that's very important guys listen up because if you do this you can actually hurt yourself hurt your credit I would say if you have any of these high fee credit cards okay and they've been reporting over two years 
okay? And you do not have any other credit cards that are older than that, do not close out that credit card, okay? Unless you have other credit cards that are aging up to that two years. Because when you do that, you actually hurt your credit history. So you do not want to do that. I know that the fee it, it's very uh, irritating to constantly pay for something that you're not using because of the fees is too high or whatever. But at the same time, it can hurt you even more if you close out that credit card and you don't have any other aging credit cards that are two years or older. So do not close out that card credit card until you actually have other revolving credit that is two years of older okay so it's very important now you have a, a applied uh, MasterCard okay now applied bank MasterCard their fees is 75 the first year 45 the second year okay now they go anywhere from uh, 300 and up And again, these uh, these type of cards, what they're trying to do, they're trying to give people uh, larger limits and stuff. Again, up to two thousand or whatever. But uh, I get it. The fees are crazy, you know. So it really just it really just makes the decision. Uh, if it's brand new, then I don't know because I'm going to show you some other cards that don't have that high annual interest high annual interest fee so just stick with me all right then you have fit mastercard all right so with fit mastercard they're what ninety nine dollars and again for those of you that have these cards let me know put it in the comments do you like the card uh what don't you like about it besides the interest or whatever? Does it work for you? Are you, you know, let me know what's going on so we can let the community know if it's a good uh, fit for them to help them build up their credit. All right. Now, with it, it's ninety nine dollars. Um, they start you out at four hundred, and then after six months, they go up to eight hundred. All right. So. And that's after six months. Then you have um, Fortiva. All right. And so Fortiva, again, is a MasterCard. I'm going to tell you something about these MasterCards that you may not uh, realize. Even with these high interest rate MasterCards, I'm going to tell you a little secret about them that you may say, oh, okay. Um, Especially when starting out to rebuild your credit. So they, their annual fee is from $85 up to $7,500. That's very expensive. So they start you out with $350. And they go up to $1,000. Now, with these uh, high interest uh, MasterCards or whatever... Say that you got the max from some of these cards, maybe a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred, and you're paying your mortgage. Well, you sign up for plastic, you can pay your mortgage with this credit card, with the MasterCard, but you can't use a Visa, a Discover, or American Express. Okay? But if you're trying to, hey, I need to pay my mortgage right away or something like that. Uh, plastic is the system that you want to use in order to get that done if the only thing you have is your credit card okay so I rather see you in debt with your credit card than homeless uh, but hopefully that would never become the case but just putting it out there um, now let's talk about the no annual fee um, no annual fee all right credit cards and the, these are these are um, credit cards that are um, excuse me these are credit cards that are no annual fee but they're for bad credit all right and they offer larger limits okay so that's another thing about it so you have um, Patel 
uh, cards, which is one and two. And they start at 500, go up to 5,000, right? So again, there's no annual fee and they're, they're going to offer you larger limits starting out, all right? So after you have the Patel, you have Credit AI. Uh, which is very good because they report a $1,500 trade line. You have to connect your bank account with it, but at the same lines, reporting a $1,500 trade line. All right. Now, I know you're like, well, what about the secure cards and secure loans from the traditional banks and credit unions? And I'm going to talk about that, but I just want to talk about these here credit cards, especially for people like with real bad credit that's trying to start over. All right. Now, with Tomo, it's actually a charge card, right? And um, with this charge card, um, so you have to pay the bill off every month, but it goes up to 10000 right? And then you have Opportune. Now, I think for most people, they're probably preferred because these here, they have much lower fees or no fees versus these here, okay? So, but at least you will have the option, where do you want to start at? Okay, so this is very important. Now, in terms of uh, Opportune, um, they go up to um, 1,000. And then the final one is Avant uh, card. All right, the Avant card. And they are they have a uh, annual fee of thirty nine dollars, but they go up to a thousand. Okay. So now you have more options. And again, guys, I would tell you, you don't need a whole lot of these here uh, high interest rate or low limit cards and stuff. I would probably do maybe uh, two of these. Okay, and then maybe uh, two of these hair cards, right? And you, you're going to need other things on your credit file to have a strong credit file. One of the things that I, I would tell you, uh, don't forget about student cards, okay? They're easier to get. So you have a, a Discover and Capital One. Uh, student cards, right? So you have you have those. Uh, so again, just so you know, they, their interest rate on the student cards may be lower than uh, the interest rate on these uh, high annual fee cards and stuff like that. So the bank cards definitely is going to be much lower. All right. Now, what I wanted to do. Uh, for those of you that are members of uh, Navy Federal, I know uh, some of you guys, um, it's the Navy Federal uh, Midnight Hat, right? And some of you guys are like, well, it don't work. Well, actually, it does work because people are still having the success, all right? And as a matter of fact, people with 530 credit scores still getting... $25,000 credit cards, all right? So if you want to see that video, put a comment below, hey Houston, can I see the Navy Federal uh, Midnight Hack video, okay? Um, because it still works. So if you're a member of Navy Federal and you have challenging credit, because they're looking at the internal score, in which I did make a video on that as well. So, but at the same time, this is so important, so people uh, like I said, people say, oh, it don't work. No, it does work, okay? And it's still working, and people are still benefiting from it, all right? Also, for some of you guys, you may be wanting to build a relationship with Amex, right? So if you're trying to build a relationship with Amex, I have a video. If you put a, put a, a comment below, hey, Houston, can I see the Navy Federal um, 
Midnight Hack, the Amex Relationship, or just both. Put the word both, and I'll send you those videos so you can actually take a look at them. Because I really think it will help you, especially when trying to rebuild your credit and you're trying to build a relationship with financial institutions. Now, what I want to talk about is let's talk about some of these credit unions, okay? And these credit unions, they have small dollar loans. They're called small dollar loans. And the reason that these small dollar loans um, are there because they was trying to uh, prevent people from going to these high interest rate payday loans and stuff like that, right? So then uh, the credit unions caught, came up with small dollar loan. So if you're a member of a credit union and stuff, you may want to ask them about their small dollar loan program. Now, here's a couple credit unions that some of you guys are, may already be a member of, all right? You have uh, PenFed. It's called the PenFed um, Arc Loan. And again, but you have to be a member, but uh, it's no credit check on these loans. Even though you may have challenging credit, but because you're a member with uh, these credit unions, they will loan you this money. All right, so theirs is about 500. Okay, that's the reason they're called small dollar loans. Then you have a Metro uh, Credit Union. Metro Credit Union. Uh, there's, they offer up to $1,500, right? Then you have a uh, Freedom First. So if you guys have ever did the small dollar loans uh, with some of these financial institutions that uh, went above a thousand dollars or whatever put a comment below let me know hey if i'm doing a good job explaining this uh let me know other things that you may want to understand you know so that way i can actually make a video to help you guys to have a clear understanding of it uh don't forget to give me a thumbs up and again comment let me know if i'm doing a got a good job with explaining this uh to the community guys and please share it all right so now, if you're in New York, okay, New York is one, is very hard on um, payday lenders and stuff. It's hard for people to find loans. But you do have a uh, First New York Credit Union, okay? And with First New York Credit Union, again, you have to be a member, but they offer up to $1,000, all right? And again, if you... Especially people in New York trying to look for uh, short-term loans and stuff like that, then this is definitely one of those credit unions that would possibly be able to help you. Now, if you're part of Desert Community uh, Credit Union, DCU, okay, a uh, digital, excuse me, digital credit union, not Desert, but digital credit union, all right, they have a, it's called a quick loan. If any of you have ever taken out this loan, put a comment. Did you like it? What was going on? But they said that you don't have to make a payment for the first 60 days. Let me know if that's true. Let me know if that's true, that you don't have to make a payment for the first uh, 60 days. All right? That, that'll help me, okay? Understand. As well as the community. And the GHS uh, Credit Union. All right? They offer up to a thousand dollars. Now that does not say that uh, First Tech. They may have a small um, uh, program as well. So uh, First Tech uh, Credit Union, um, uh, Allegiant uh, Credit Credit Union. So they may have um, these type of programs as well. All right. So you would just have to ask. Um, one, um, for you guys, if you look for the Community Development Financial Institute, they have a list of lenders, Community Development Financial Institute. They have a list of lenders. And these lenders, if you have bad credit and stuff, they give you loans up to $500. Now, why am I talking about loans instead of credit cards? Because you have to have a mix. All right? In order to have... 
a strong credit file. You have to have revolving credit. You have to have a secured or non-secured loan on your file. Okay, so by you having that mix on your file and stuff like that, that's what helps keep up the credit score because people have paid off car loans, they paid off personal loans, and they've seen their credit score drop like 40, 50 points. Okay, so that's the reason I tell people if you got a car loan, I know you want to pay it off, but it's, it's, unfortunately, it's unfortunate that if you pay the car off, and you don't have another personal loan on there or whatever, your credit score is going to drop. Okay? So that's the reason it's important uh, to make sure that you have this mix in order to keep your credit score high. Now, one more thing that I was definitely going to tell you is the strategy. What I would do, again, I would probably take two of these. Um, Look, but I would check their advance fee first. But if I was able to take uh, two of these loans, say that uh, each of these gave me a thousand dollars, okay? So two of these gave me a thousand dollars, all right? And then say one or two of these gave me a thousand dollars. Say I wake up, I come up with about four thousand dollars. Then whatever financial institution I'm with that I regular bank with. Um, then I would get a secured card and a secured loan, okay? I would open up the secured card and then take that money and put it on the secured loan. And which is, you may, most credit unions, they may have like a, a pledge loan, right? So, that way you have a strong enough file and you have multiple things reporting that's going to help you have a stronger credit file. Especially, again, if you're just coming out of bankruptcy or you're just starting out rebuilding your credit because of medical situations or whatever the case. You know, following these steps, I promise you, will give you a stronger credit file. And again, making sure that you... Um, in terms of when you're applying, making sure that you include all of your income household, not just your household, unless you're the only one in that household, okay? Uh, I don't want you all um, putting untrue information on the credit file, on your credit application. Don't do that. Uh, but making sure that you, if you answer the questions the way they're, they're being asked. They say how much income in a household? Again, you may have assets uh, that's generating uh, income for you and stuff, so you can also include that. All right. So this is Houston with Three Way Funding. Again, for those of you that's just finding my uh, YouTube channel, uh, welcome. Please remember to subscribe. And for those of you that's always supporting me, as always, salute. Thank you.